Okay, so back to battle mode. We got to get through this entire thing as Chris. I don't exactly know the time that we need to be shooting for, but I think it's like around seven minutes. I'll do one run of it to see how close I can get before I, I start looking up anything uh, to get it figured out. And then we do have Steve as well. And then after you beat it with Chris, you'll unlock Wesker, which is like a knife only version of this. And you get 30 minutes to beat the game. So I'm hoping to get through at least Chris and Steve. And then once I beat Wesker's, after that, we'll go through and we'll mop up all of the, the random trophies associated with this game mode. But for now, we're just going to try and speed demon this shit. You do get the Magnum with infinite ammo. And I'm pretty sure it's the same map for every character. His might actually be faster because of the Magnum. And because I am actually like pretty damn decent at this. This should be super quick. Die, dude. Die. There we go. I was going to say, that guy right there, he throws me off every time. His might have to be stupid fast. Because you get the range. Is this where the zombie grabs me right at the get-go? I think it is. No, it is not. It's the next one. Okay, here we go. And... Okay, really? that That's the, the dude that gets me? Okay, he flinched. That means I hit him. That means I hit him. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The auto aim makes this like not even that difficult. It's actually a lot easier with Chris so far than it was with either of the Claire's. I, I keep forgetting, you have to aim at the one south first. Okay, here we go, come on now. I know where this guy hides. Yep, there he is. Got it. I, for some reason, I want to say Claire's you have to go the fastest, but I, there, there's no rhyme or reason to why I think that. Like, I don't know that for certain. Okay, well, not going to waste time. I'm, I'm, I'm limping, but not too bad. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, dude, this is... I mean, the first couple times I did this, I thought this was going to be, like, stupid hard. But this might be the most fun I've had on one of these secondary Resident Evil game modes outside of, like, OG Mercenaries in, like, RE5 and 6. I think Mercenaries peaked in RE6, though. Okay, there we go. Get it, get it, get it, get it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, Daddy Chris. This right here is the challenge that turned Chris into a daddy right here. This is it.
And the other cool part is I never have to reload this Magnum. So I don't have to lose time in the reload sequence. Okay. Ooh, a twofer. Okay, there we go. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good, actually. I like that one because that instant kill right there. See, that's almost an instant kill as well because that explosion if you can get them when they're when they're compact enough did we just one run this Come on, really? How how many bullets does this heifer take? Yeah, I can't freaking see her at that point. Okay, like I said, I would try to I would try to dry run it before I looked anything up. And realistically, I only need to look up the back half of that run. Okay, we'll we'll look it up. Just battle mode. Chris. Optinoob has been the guy so far, not gonna lie. Okay, so you have to run away from the fire. I don't know what's taking him so long. Why did he wait until the corner? Oh, because if you wait till she gets in that corner, you can see her the whole time. That checks out. That checks out. Okay. And he had like 630 or something on his time clock. So like, we're, we're pretty good. Time wise, we are so on point. Like, we are uber on point. Got something in my eye. We're going to have to live with it. Ah! Can't live with it. Can't live with it. It was starting to burn. There we go. And... Dink. As long as you hear them howl, you know you killed the bandy. You know you killed the bandy. Can't believe I just killed that man blind. Whoop. There 
There we go. There we go. Okay, if I'm not poisoned... I had a little bit of extra time. I feel like that... That ought to help. Because you are so much faster when you're not limping. Two sixteen, we're making a hell of good time. This is way faster. Yeah, baby. I wish the game was this easy all the time. I guess then if you did that, it just like there would be no challenge and like part of Resident Evil's that it's supposed to be challenging. Okay, I heard him thump. I heard him thump. Yep, okay. Usually he's there on the stairs. Usually. There's been a couple times he didn't hit... He wasn't there on the stairs, but that might have just been like an error on my part. And like, I just didn't shoot him and then he climbed the stairs to get me once I went and killed the dude on the floor on the other side over by the monitors. But for the most part, he always spawns on the stairs. Tink. Okay, so this should be the locker room, yes? No. Not yet, not yet. Okay, so that kills those two. That kills him. And I want to say that the first hunter's not a, a sweeper. So if you go, if you go and you tuck yourself into that left corner and you got an instant kill weapon, he has to run at you. So you can avoid actually getting hit there. So is one dude, two. Try and pop two shots there. Because there's almost always two dudes on the other side of that round in that corner. That's an instant kill. That was such an instant kill. I got there before he actually died. Okay, so he's dead. Okay, so they're all dead. Once you hear them howl, that's how you know they're dead. And I've got two full heals right now. And I'm just gonna lay into this bitch. Come on. Okay, 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 here we go, here we go. Come on! How much shit can you pop out? Gosh damn! That's bullshit. I feel like there's got to be a better method for killing her than what I'm currently using. Okay. 
Okay. He went right up in the grundle. Probably because that does extra magnum damage. I know proximity was a big thing with the magnum in Resident Evil Zero. Like, if you were super far away, the magnum did, like, absolutely no damage. And you were just wasting ammunition at that point. So, I'm going to assume this is very similar. I'm going to assume this is very similar. I feel like that's a safe assumption that I can make. I mean, it looks super girthy right now. Not going to lie. Like, it, it is doing some straight work. I'm kind of pissed at myself that I didn't get the Magnum during the main game. For, like, the speedrun and stuff, I've seen a speedrun that was, like, carcinogen speed run of it it was like an hour 52 and you have four hours to beat the game and i know from experience that i usually end up going way faster on my speed run than i necessarily need to so i think i'll be safe in getting all of the files and stuff like that in the same time as my speed slash no save run yeah that was that was a little wonky that one was a little wonky i could have done a little better i could have done a little better there Okay, go right here. It's not a perfect run, I know. But it's just, it's pretty good. We're still got a good pace going. Like I'm I'm still like 30 seconds ahead of my required pace. Two seventeen. We're still freaking flying at this point. Still freaking flying. As long as you don't move when you shoot those, I think you're okay. Because I've blown those up in my face almost every time as soon as they inst as soon as I instant spawn in the room, and I have never had an issue. Okay, he. As long as you hear the thump, you know you got him. And then with that guy on the floor, as long as you see him twitch, that's how you know you shot him. There we go. Oh, hell yeah. I feel like this is the fastest we've done so far. This has got to be the fastest one yet. There we go. The fixed camera angles, I think, is like the only hard part of this. Is when it swaps cameras. But I'm, I'm really, I'm nailing down the tank controls. Right here, like that, right there, boom! Untouched, baby. Well, untouched through that section. I've only actually been touched once. Okay, do one, two. I knew I should have done more. Okay, so I was touched there as well. I usually go to the, 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 the far left corner and shoot twice through there so I don't get hit. I went a little too fast there. I'm getting... See, and I moved right there. If I wouldn't have moved, that would not have damaged me. 
So this is getting sloppy right here. The fuck? I don't know how he didn't die. That's gonna eat into my time a little bit. Okay, so that did that, that, that's gonna hurt me a little bit. Not gonna lie. Are you shitting me? Come on! Come on, where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Come on, let's go. Come on! Come on, spit. There we freaking go. What do you got? Come on, be something good. Be something good. Be an A. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me an A. No, no trophy. Shit. A B? I probably had to be a sub 730. Ugh. Okay, well that was actually pretty decent. That was pretty decent. I'm not I'm not gonna chastise them too much. I don't think I was that far off. Ten seconds, I can shave ten seconds off of that. If I wouldn't have gotten bit freaking twice, I would have shaved that time off anyway. The thing I do like is that you get so much time. So like it is there for like minute errors. Very small errors it allows for. Also the enemy placement is the same across every one of these which is dope. Because it literally just allows you to get better and better. Every run, you learn a couple new strategies that just make it so much easier. Like that guy, I can usually hit him even with a blind spot. Without even seeing him, I usually know about where he is just from doing it so many times, you know?
I know that guy is gonna come at me right away. That guy is too. Come around the corner. Got that one last guy. Still on pace. I don't know why it's such a massive bite out of you right here. Minute 54. Still good. Still good. That's got a lot of through and through power. I don't know what else I'm blowing up over there, but it seems important. Shit. Tank controls got me that time. Tank controls got me that time. Okay, let it blow up. Oh, yeah. A twofer, baby. Those twofers are like gold because then you don't have to stop and shoot again. Ooh, that time he actually drop drop. I seen him. I'm usually in the 240s when I get there, so like I'm I'm going really slow. Yeah, I can make up some time here. This is the bathroom section or the infirmary. Are you shitting me? Oh, I got a little, I'm 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 playing real sloppy right now. This is my worst showing in a fat minute. Like, I missed that shot. I haven't missed that shot yet. Should be like the ice hallway, I think. I got the through and through. Those guys weren't even lined up with each other. I must have got like a ricochet or some shit or he must have been so scared that he shit himself. Okay, here we go. If I do this right... I'll have like 90-ish seconds. Oh, I'm gonna have to get in. I'm gonna have to barrel stuff the old girl. That's, how, that's what it's gonna have to be. She's gonna have to suck some chrome. Can I heal here? Is there a heal here, probably? No, nope, no need.
Okay, now I should probably heal. Oh, hell yeah. There's no way I didn't get it. There's no way I didn't get an A. If there's an S rank, we just got it, baby. What? What do I have to get it in? It's a 630. It's a 630. It's got to be a 630. I just got it in 650 or whatever. Oh, Chris's is going to suck, dude. But we gonna get it. We gonna get it. I'm not taking no for an answer. Okay, here we go. I don't know if that slows me down or not doing it that way, but we're committed. Don't even need to know. I, I know he's there. That's what practice gets for us right there is we get to the point where this is just so unnervingly easy. Like, you just got all the spawns memorized. It's like an arcade game. Eventually, everybody figures it out. Okay, this is about the right time. That was dumb. That's gonna eat into my time so bad. I should have just taken the L. I tried to get cute with it. It looks like I gunned down the whole crew with one bullet. But better safe than sorry. It's better to take the time to shoot that extra one because, like, you're going to save a second every time. <sighs> Usually in the 250s there. This is just not the one where I can afford to lose time on. There we go. I feel like that's probably the fastest I've done that section.
That's probably a better idea to run further into that room. Okay, so that guy is super easy. He's probably my favorite one. Is just be like, and it, it's because he's a little nerve wracking, I think. Damn it. I'm wasting so much time. So if I can get him right off the bat, that that probably did save me some time there. Okay, I got a minute 20. I've got a minute 20 to kick this bitch's ass. Okay, there we go. Okay, heal. Yeah, that's it, baby. That's game right there. That was like 612. That's faster than this dude's freaking how-to video. Yeah, baby. I can do anything better than you. Earn an A ranking in battle game with Chris. That what he the, the, the how-to video was 619. I got it in 617. I'm more proficient than the how-to video. How do you do, baby? How do you do? Freaking go. Okay, now Steve's, like I said, I like to do, I like to do a dry run before I do a how-to guide. I like to try and get it myself the first time, and then we'll watch how-to if we fail. I feel like that's a trade-off, you know? I'm thinking it's probably the Lugs. Actually, it's probably not the Lugs. It's probably the Smiggies. The Smiggies is probably where it's at. Yeah, I'm thinking it is the Smiggies.
I don't know. I, I don't know if it's the Lugers or the Smiggies. Like, the Smiggies don't have, like, a stun lock. Like, those do. Come on, really? Maybe it is the Smiggies. I don't know. I honestly don't know. The Luger kills them faster. At least I think it does. Okay, so I'm... I'm not 100% sure what the method's gonna be to kill some of these hunters. Okay. Okay, so his is going to be different because it's not a one-hit kill. Let's see what this person has. Okay, he's using the Smiggies. Looks like the Smiggies is where it's at. And when they get close to you, if you shoot them in the feet, they die. Yep, okay, it's the Smiggies. It's the Smiggies. Wesker's is gonna be hella interesting, though. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do about Wesker's, but it's 30 minutes. If you fail, you just start over. Another 30 minutes. Yeah, I like the Smiggies because when they fall, that's how you know they're dead. They don't get back up like they do with the Lugs. I don't know how fast you have to get it in this. This guy over here is like 915. Try this. Come on, dude. Just just kill him. Okay, there we go. I feel like I'm already going faster than I was when I tried using the Lukes.
Dude, I just love the stance he takes when he like leans back and just freaking rides them smiggies. Okay, this is kind of on pace with where he was, not gonna lie. And then he just sat straight in the middle and just gave him hell. Guess I'm still limping. Okay. I need to get another heal when I find one. I'm poisoned. That's what it is. Yeah, I was saying, like, I was, I, I started to limp slower. That's what told me I was poisoned. So now I have no heals. Although I do know where a first aid spray is, so. We will 110% be fine. Okay. 431. I think these show like a sub 930 in their thumbnails. So. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it, dude. Okay, come on now. There's making it too easy for me. Okay, he hit the floor. Okay, this is the part I'm a little worried about. No, not this part. The next part. Okay, all I gotta do is wait for... The, like, there's a clear, distinct sound of them hitting the floor. That's how you know they're dead. At least if you use the smigs. Poison, please don't be poisoned. Fuck. I don't have anything to cure poison. I didn't pick up the blue herb from earlier.
Come on, really? Come on now. Come on now. We got this, Steve. We got this, Steve. There's enough full heals around that I think I can survive the poison. I'm pretty sure I can still survive the poison. As long as these bander snatches don't freaking just riggedy riggedy wreck my shit. Not the one that I thought I was trying to avoid. I thought I got, I, I didn't know I killed that one. Okay, so we're gonna heal up right here. We got 90 seconds for this. I don't know if that's enough time or not. The first time I fought this, it kicked the shit out of me, like the actual one. The actual fight, anyway. Okay, come on now. Come on, dude. He's right there. Come on. I think I messed it up. I think I failed it. Just now. Yep, that was it. That was my time. And I got freaking eaten anyway. Gosh damn it. Okay, so we're going to use the SMGs. The goal here is a sub 930. I'm pretty sure if it's a sub 930, that's good enough to get the A. I, mother, gosh dang it. I'm already screwing this run up. But that's about the same time I'm usually getting. I think the only parts that I'm super worried about is avoid getting poisoned by one of the sweepers. The rest of this is pretty easy. Like it, it basically does itself. Just keep enough of a, of a distance on the zombies so that they can't bite you. Cause every bite animation while you get to shove them down and it makes it an easier kill it's like a five second wait and we're just gonna we're just gonna eat it here come on really okay once once you hear them growl that's how you know that the bandersnatch has died there's a very distinct growl. You just kind of aim semi over here. You'll get to see his head hit the corner. If you do it right, he'll be eating his homie's booty like groceries. 
Then right here, that guy's pretty easy. This guy can sometimes grab you, but he's... He should pick up some of those stray bullets from you killing that guy. But there's only two in the hallway. I usually aim at this dude's feet just so he hits the ground. And then I just start freaking laying waste just like you did in the game, most likely. Forgot about that guy. That guy's gonna eat into my time a little bit. Okay, so on the other side of this door is a couple hunters. So if you do take damage, I, I would heal right here. I'm gonna heal right here. And then as soon as you open the door, just. Third time they hit the floor should be an, should be a kill shot. Unless you get poisoned here, double check. But if not, I usually heal right there. I'm not 100% sure how much time it saves you versus, you know, the five seconds it takes to heal, but I've done it every time. That looks like a poison. It is not a poison, so I'm not worried about it. Only care about being poisoned. Because there's only like... I've, I only know of one blue herb. And we're going to grab it just in case that one band... Or that one sweeper catches us lacking. Okay, but all right. And for the most part, if you're going for midsection or headshots, as soon as they hit their knees, that's how you know they're dead. Unless you're shooting at their feet. For some reason, shooting them in the feet doesn't do the same amount of damage. Looks like I'm going to have to burn it. And then this guy on the ground over here. You only have to shoot him until you kind of see him squirm and pick his leg up. And then you know he's he's dead. Same thing with these a-holes. Once they hit their knees, that's how you know they're dead. Should be one more. There he is. tell if we're making good time until we get to the last section but what i learned from the last couple boss fights you need about 90 seconds if you have 90 seconds to spare going into that final boss fight you can usually count on it being a dub and i know it's a waste of like five seconds but i have been picking at least one first aid spray for the final boss fight and then making sure I do in fact have the one blue herb on this entire map at least it's the only blue herb that I've seen and it is right here next to the coke machine that is the only blue herb I know of And it's mostly because I haven't found a super solid way to keep the sweeper over here from, from hitting me. Sometimes you can get him in that stun lock with that like up and down movement and going from chest to leg like that. But sometimes he'll just break out of it and swipe you. It's kind of hit or miss. But this method of shooting like that right there is kind of how I've been dealing with the the hunters. 
doesn't it, it works with humans too but definitely with hunters because those leg shots stun lock most enemies got a little cocky there it's gonna take some time but it's not gonna do any health i don't know how many times you can get bit in code veronica without dying but it is a lot Bites in this game have n almost no effect. Shoot, all you do right there is as soon as you lock, like you walk in, you just auto aim with the R1 and hit circle. It is an instant kill. It kills the three enemies in that room. Okay, that should do it. That should do it. And then in this room coming up right here. I don't know how I don't know. Re I, I really don't know where exactly they go. Sometimes just taking that auto aim, you'll get them. Sometimes you won't. Okay, we're gonna heal. I, I don't have the 90 seconds I want. I've only got like 60. So this is gonna be very tight. Basically, if you don't get hit and you manage to catch it every time, so you can get hit on the back end there, but like definitely not getting hit when it comes out of the ground so you can get the full effect of your shots in that's basically what you have to do that one's too quick I don't think I'm gonna get it. I don't think I'm gonna get it. No, I missed it. I missed it. Like I said, you need about a full 90 seconds here. If you really want to do some solid damage. I'm about to be about 20 seconds too slow. Oh shit, I got it! Rockford's finest to earn an A ranking in battle game with Steve. Oh, that's kind of sad. That's his that's his parents and him. Oh, so I think it's it might just be a sub 10. Anyway, I can confirm if you get a 952 or lower, that is at least an A rank. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume anything sub 10 is good enough to get the A rank for Steve. So there you have it. Ugh. Now for the real, the, the real tough cookie. The real tough cookie. Wesker Wesker is he's he's gonna be a problem oh a 30 minute run a 30 minute run all knife I, I don't even know let's see how fast people are doing it I won't watch a guy but we'll see how fast people are doing it 18 minutes Oh, dang, dude. Gosh, diddly damn, dude.
Okay, so it looks like he does a knife swipe at the feet. And you want to go slow. Slow is not my specialty, but it looks like four knife swipes is enough to get a kill. As long as you hit the legs. On a positive note, this is going to make me so freaking superior through the game. Okay, so basically the, the, the method for Wesker is let them come at you so you can swipe their heels. And then you just go for the swipe until they lurch and they kind of try to get up and that's how you know they're dead. Okay, that, that'll work. I'll, I'll take it. So... I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that a sub 30 is minutes is what you have to get the Wesker mode in. And a lot of the people I've seen doing it are getting it in like... 16 17 18 minutes so i think the hard part is literally just staying alive long enough to do it okay this is not the preferred method i don't think on no, get, up, get off me dude daddy wesker is not gonna die to a couple of bites okay let's be honest with ourselves here he like keep doing it i think the problem is if you throw them on the ground like you're the one that initiates the damage then it gets like a stun lock on them i've i've been noticing okay well bander snatches Obviously the bane of my existence. Let me see how this person takes care of the bandies. Okay, so what makes Wesker's mode hard is not the time. The time is actually incredibly reasonable. It's 30 minutes. What makes his run so difficult is trying not to die. So...
so basically you've got to find every health item you can because it is a knife only run and like i'm not doing a very good job of it like you have to not get bit Yeah, so like if you force them to fall down and they fall down on their back and you get those free back shots, it does like double damage or something to that effect. Because I know they die quicker if you are the aggressor with the knife. Can I just blow this up? I wonder. Let's see. I've never tried this. Does not work. Do not recommend it. Okay. Got him. Got him. Okay, there we go. Well, I'm not super worried. It's fine. Usually I can get through this section in like two and a half minutes-ish. There is a herb I need to grab here. Okay. I'm going to go with a full heal because there are bander snatches on the other side of this door. The bandies on the other side. I have, I've been having trouble. You have to be the aggressor. Because if you're the aggressor, it's literally like two or three hits and they're dead. Because you get like this weird like triple hit thing that I've only really seen with the Bandersnatches because they have like such a long arm. I think that's like my only notion. I can't really prove it. But you get like a triple hit and you can hear the knife hitting. those multiple times see like that right there like you can hear like a like a really quick like yeah that's just a flower But it's this really weird, like, window. And I haven't been very good at, like, hitting it lately. But I have gotten them, like, the last three. It's kind of, like, right before they would grab you. If you time it perfectly, it, it's a cakewalk. gonna say let this guy walk on me time is not the issue here keep that in mind like time you should not be worried about the time like if they if they want to keep walking up these stairs all slow like and being easy targets i'm all about it Don't die, don't die. Where am I at? Where am I at? Okay, I'm, I'm good. It's like right about there. It's like, yeah, right there. It's that moment right before you know they're gonna lurch at you. You hit right then, it's like this sweet spot. You'll get like a triple hit, which automatically knocks them to the floor. Am I poisoned?
not poison but i'm not in a good spot either i want to say you need to like save the blue herbs for these assholes right freaking here because i bet i just got poisoned i did and you get a full heal coming right out the gate there's going to be another blue and green herb in a little bit. And there's also like a multitude of first aids. So as long as you have one poison heal going into that section, you're, you're, you're pretty good. Come on, fatty. I missed it. I missed my window. Come on, get get off of me. Get off of me, fatty. There we go. Got him. Got him. There it is. Okay, where am I at? I don't have any healing items anyway, so... I don't know why I'm limping. I thought I had a... Must have just been from the time, the amount of times I was bitten. Okay, come on, really? There it is. See, if you can get that like that right there, you get so many more hits on them. You can get like this real awesome side swipe action. I've been having real good luck with that back swing. And because I've got so much extra time, I don't know if there's any healing items in here, but I'm going to check. Like I said, you get 30 freaking minutes. And there are a lot of rooms that I just don't check. Mostly because I, I don't normally have to. But I know there is a full heal coming up here shortly. But this hallway could be a nightmare. Because of how tight knit it is. Okay, get it. Hopefully, I get a double here. Yeah, I got the double. Okay, there we go. Should be everybody. There should be only six in this room. Got it. Okay, we're good. We're good there. Come on, hit, hit him, hit him. No! Okay, so the key to this run is not time, it's proficiency. You gotta learn how to stun lock with the knife.
which it's very difficult and in these close confined spaces it's even harder because if your knife hits the wall you automatically lose the stun lock this is this this run is already ass like how many times i've been bitten like we are already gonna have a tough time i'm not gonna have enough healing items the other key is gonna be knowing where the healing item locations are there are an abundance of healing items, but there are certain sections where you're just gonna eat damage. And you're gonna have to learn to live with that. Like right here, I'm, I'm already screwing this up. Okay, I'm gonna try and double check my health. I still take like two or three more bites like this. Okay, we'll get him. Like it is okay if you get bit. Like don't think that you have to be perfect like you did in the other runs to make time. You get approximately 30 minutes i think i think it's 30 minutes to get an a rank all you have to do is make it all the way through it's kind of like a for funsies one come on See, there it is. I died. Two minutes, 37 seconds in. I got freaking assaulted. Okay, so the key in this section, right? It's not time. You're not looking to maximize your time. You're looking to maximize your proficiency. Okay, and like part of maximizing your proficiency is not hitting the walls with your knife. And then learning how to stun lock with the knife. With those leg shots is very important. I, I took a chance there. I didn't, I, I didn't really... Once, he, once they're the last enemy, it's like, if you want to just, like, save yourself some time. Because, in all actuality, you are doing this for an egregious amount of time. Unless you can one-run this. This is, like, my fourth or fifth try. I have not one run this. I haven't even made it super, super far. I just know the methods that'll get me there. from trial and error i made it almost all the way to the end no clue what the boss fight is but i'm going to assume you need a lot of health for the boss fight just an assumption but learning how to like trip them and get that stun lock on them is key once you learn that it gets really it, it, it's not as bad it's just doing it consistently for the entirety of this run which is probably like in the realm of 20 25 minutes if you're not super proficient which as you can see your boy is not the most proficient person person here
Yeah, there, there it is. With the bander snatches, just know you're probably gonna eat a couple hands. You're gonna take a couple right hooks. They're 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 gonna bitch slap you. Okay, just just be okay with it. You're gonna have to live with it. The most proficient way is to get them right before the lurch or get them twice before they 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 lunge at you doing that oh fuck uh this is a bad camera angle uh and you also don't want to get too many piled up on you at once because then it makes it really hard to get the stun lock Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'll take that. I'll take that. Anything this way? And then the other part of this is just knowing where all the healing items are. I'm not 100% confident where every single healing item is. Uh, so I'm checking a couple of extra corners. But I do know where the vast majority of these suckers are. This section is made so easy because you could stand like right here and catch them coming up the stairs and they just eat the damage. Because they can't lunge at you while they're going up the stairs. So you can just sit here. Usually they're a little bit more proactive about coming up the stairs. Come on, buddy. Like I said, the key here is proficiency. Not efficiency. Which sounds like an oxymoron. Like, it sounds like that doesn't make sense. Like, don't you want to be proficient and efficient? But no, not necessarily. Okay, so in here, you're about to face two hunters. So I usually just burn it to have full health. And then I just hope... I You gotta get lucky here. There's not a whole lot of good methodologies. You, you just gotta eat it and keep going. Just keep aiming down... Because you get a triple swipe that way usually. You do more damage when you're aiming the knife down. I don't know how it works. It certainly doesn't work with physics. But you do need at least one full heal right here normally that you start with. Because this section you usually get poisoned. Because you take so much damage from those yo those yahoos. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and heal here. Because I don't you don't have to fight another sweeper, which the sweeper is the hunter with like the purple on its back. Those are the only enemies that can like poison you in this game mode. And there's only one blue herb that I've found in the entire game. So outside of the three initial full heals you get, which include the blue herb in it, the mixed herb. If you don't grab that one blue herb, you, you'll, be, you'll be screwed. And there is one more sweeper that we have to face in the locker room. And then after that... Minus, I think, maybe the boss fight. You, you can't get poisoned. And go. And 
can't go. And go. There it is. Oh, yeah. Ultimate proficiency right now. That's what we talking about, baby. So there is one hallway. I like to call it the hallway of death. It is the second hardest hallway in the game. This is it right here. Outside the hallway with all the ice in it, like the freezer hallway. Just because like hitting those little dresser things automatically stops you and if you hear that kerchunka it's gonna throw off your vibe and you are most likely gonna get bit so i really try to like hug this wall and do an inward swipe okay that was that i should have known and that was too good to be true I actually didn't take as much damage as I thought I was going to take there. So that's pretty good. But that hallway right there, I almost always take damage in. And this room's not easy. Okay, come on. Are you shitting me? Okay, get off, get off, get off. Come on, as long as I don't die in here, there is a full heal right over there. No, wrong room. Sorry. It's over here. I forgot. I forgot where the heal was, but it was right there. Where am I at? I still take one or two more hits, so I'm not going to burn it yet. I probably will burn it after the next bite that I receive. This hallway is not as tough. And there's a couple healing items over there that I'd much rather use. Okay, it should be in red now. Yep. Okay, I want to get... There we go. You want to get that big, long swipe. It does the most damage. Should be one more dude in here. Nope. Okay, we ganged up on him. But I'm also pretty sure you can get the Magnum if you come in here. I don't know if the Magnum has infinite ammo, but it will be key in the fight coming up. Should be this one, this lit up, this one right here. Yeah, see? Yeah, you only get six rounds with it. But this room also has a shit ton of herbs. I've never noticed this blue herb sitting over here. I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I've played this, this a lot. I've never noticed that blue herb over there. I've only ever seen these two greens. So take some time to combine these.
There we go. Had to remember how to get out of here. There's also a first aid spray in the locker room right after this room. We'll have to fight a hunter and a lurker. Or, sorry, a sweeper. And then if for some reason, if you do a swipe and you hear it just like hit the ground in front of them, that also lets you know that they're dead. The knife can stun lock a lot better than I thought. And we did not even get poisoned. That is some supreme luck right there. That is some supreme luck. This is another really hard hallway. I usually just wait right here in my stance. Just let them come to me. These two dudes should be the last dudes in here. Hell yeah. Okay, like I said, you get 30 minutes, I'm pretty sure. I'm at like 13. We got a room full of bander snatches to get to. We got, I think, three people in here to kill. These guys like to burp on you. And I think the only reason these guys like to burp like that is because they're technically like I think they're registering that they're on these stairs at some points and if they're on the stairs the zombies can only puke on you like that okay hopefully this doesn't nick the stairs I don't want it to nick the stairs I don't know why. Okay, I can't get poisoned again. There should be nobody that can poison me for the rest of it. So that blue herb I got should be like not even necessary. That'll work. That'll work. That'll actually work really well, actually. Because I should get to hit all of them. Okay. That, yep. Munch on me. Munch on me. Oh, I'm all about it. Come on. Come here, sir. Dance a lot. Okay, so I should get like, I think you get like two or three hits via the Bandersnatch. There's a full heal in here. Okay, here it is. Just get up close so you can get the most damage. Most bang for your buck. Okay, now all we have is the final boss fight left. And since we didn't use the Magnum, I think that should be enough to do it. If she has the same amount of health as she does in the main campaign... It should just be these six shots is all that's necessary to kill her. I think I got to go up the stairs. I 
Okay, so it's just like the main campaign. She's gonna smack the shit out of me. I'm gonna jump off the wall. Superman punched this broad right in her face. Maybe not. No, here it is. He's going for the Superman punch right here. I'm telling you, dude. Wesker must be in the MMA. MMA is in his spare time. That's what he does. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and heal. No, I'm not. And that's it. That's game right there. That's it, baby. 1814. Plenty of time. As long as you grab that magnum, it's too damn easy. Power hungry. Earn an A ranking in battle game with Wesker. And since I've gotten an A rank in every single battle game so far, that should also get me the trophy for unlocking the linear launcher there it is baby get the linear launcher from battle game so there it is obviously if you get an 1815 or lower you can 100 percent get the a rank i've read somewhere it goes all the way up to 30 minutes it's mostly just whether or not you can survive with a knife only but if you do all that the trophy's gonna be yours Okay. Now, I need to pull up a trophy list to see some of the the miscellaneous trophies I need to get within battle game. And then we do have I mean, I'm I'm really flying through the battle game section. It, it I am thoroughly like you're doing the same map over and over and over and over, but knowing that you get the infinite ammo and it's literally about just getting as proficient as you possibly can, not looking for ammo, but being as efficient as you can to get those times down. Uh, this is the most fun I've had on one of those side games that they throw in almost every Resident Evil. Easily the most fun I've had. Okay, so let me look up the uh, the trophy list. Let's just do this right here. That was actually... Wesker's is probably one of my most favorite so far. I really liked Wesker's. Okay. Rocket launchers for beating the game with an A rank. Receive encouragement from a young lady that's in the campaign. I forgot to do it. Finish the game in under four hours. Also for the A rank. Claire was shivering in the freezer. So in order to get Claire... <clears throat> is it cold in here? Is the trophy for the... <clears throat> is it cold in here? Is the trophy... With the description, it says Claire was shivering in the freezer. Must be in battle game in third person view. So in order to get this trophy, we've got to be Claire with her alternate get up. You have to be in third person and you have to make it all the way to the freezer section. Kill all the zombies and just wait there until you get an animation that shows Claire shivering. And with the linear launcher, it's going to be like this doesn't even matter. I mean, you can't really see, but it doesn't really matter. We also don't have to worry about time. Which is also going to be Gucci. But basically, just kill all these a-holes. And we've got our super sexy bike racer gal outfit on. I thought it was a cheerleader outfit at first. And then I started looking at it and I was like, nah, this is more racer. Like, more like 
speedway chick car show gals if you've been to a car show you know exactly the type of outfit i'm talking about the type of outfit where social media influencers or instagram models whatever they go by these days just go to a car show so they could take sexy pictures on top of other people's cars this is the kind of outfit they wear Man, what I wouldn't give to have the linear launcher in the campaign the entire time. That would just be so dope. This is also... Code Veronica is the only Resident Evil game that I know of where unless you get the highest ranking possible you can't have infinite ammo in the playthrough every other resident evil game you don't have to do everything on the hardest difficulty shit you don't have to do everything on the hardest difficulty um what was i saying Co gosh damn resident evil code veronica is the only game that doesn't give you infinite ammo of some variety without beating the game and doing the most difficult challenge the game has to offer i'm just gonna go ahead and do this for this section because i don't care about time i care about making it should be dead oh yeah he's dead he dead dead oh there's a blue herb right there see like there's a lot of blue herbs that i just for some reason have just never taken the time to look for until like wesker's campaign where everything is about just survival All right, one more dude at the end of the hallway. I missed him. But on the other side of that, I think Resident Evil Code Veronica is also one of the only games that doesn't have a difficulty. The difficulty is just inherent with the game. There's not like a professional difficulty or any of that. Like you just have to live with it. Let's see if I can hit this guy from over here. Yep, I think I did. I heard him. I heard him groaning, so I'm pretty sure I got him. There's a dude on the floor on the other side that you have to kill. Should be one more dude. So much easier with this with the linear launcher that's the reason i saved all these miscellaneous battle game trophies to get anyway i wanted to use the linear launcher and i knew that if you beat every battle game with an a it automatically unlocks the linear launcher so i was like then i'm just on fun mode I'm just cruising through. I mean, everything's infinite ammo. This is just super easy to get kills because you can get them from a mile away. Um, that's interesting. I don't know if the Magnum's available in every game mode. I think it's only available in Wesker's and it only gives you six. Minus the Magnum you get for doing Chris's. There we go. Did I, did I get poisoned? Did not. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about. Yeah, so in here is where we're actually going to get the is it cold in here trophy.
And you have to kill everybody because otherwise they'll grab you and you won't be allowed to sit perfectly still. I also probably... I'm not going to attempt it with like hanging out with Burnt. There it is. And that is the Is It Cold In Here trophy. Claire was shivering in the freezer. Must be in battle game in third person view. So that's all there is to it. Okay. And yes, I realize a lot of this stuff is cringy and I'm repeating myself. So if you're watching this on the VODs channel, I am experimenting with potentially doing all of these as guides on the on a, on a separate channel just to get more uploads. Essentially, potentially increase the monetization. That is the key. Okay. Got to swap my controller here in a second. Okay. So the three bander snatches, the dude ski upstairs. I mean, I, I think this is an A time. I think you got nine minutes. I don't exactly remember. Yep, that's it. Yay me. Yay. I do like the tank. See, that was my best time yet. Actually, that wasn't my best time. Anyway. So, with Chris in particular, there are actually two miscellaneous trophies we can get. Oh, gosh damn. We can get inside of battle mode. But when you do battle mode, make sure you always do it in third person because all the trophies require you be in third person. Um, there is one trophy called Mirror Mirror, which we will be going for second. It is for looking at a broken mirror in the locker room. And then there's another one for looking at the tiger statue um, very early on, like right after the bander snatches almost right here. Uh, we'll get eye of the tiger, which is for looking at the tiger statue in the medical hallway. So we'll just go ahead. It shouldn't take too long. I'm using the magnum instead of linear launcher because it's easier and it's quicker. But the tiger statue should just be on the other side of this room. Kill this guy. There's another guy right there. I actually missed him. I usually don't miss him. Okay, but he's dead now. Okay, you can usually see him by the footprints. That guy's here. And you go right here. After you kill them, when you go to this door right here, you're just going to turn around. And you're going to go right here. This is the tiger statue. Just go up to it, hit X, and the trophy should be yours. Huh. Anyway, I 
eye of the tiger. Look at the tiger statue in the medical hallway with Chris. Too easy. Don't know what he was doing there uh, with the tiger, but it was good enough for a trophy. So who cares? Okay, so for this next one. Right here. So it's going to be sound cringy right here, but we're going to do it. So immediately following getting the tiger statue trophy, you're just going to turn around. You're going to go this way. You're going to proceed through the level until you get all the way through the locker room. Kill the hunter and the sweeper in the locker room. That's how you'll know which one I'm talking about. And then there is a mirror we must go back to, but you won't be able to get the cutscene unless they're both dead. So by now, if you save all of these till after you've gotten the A ranks like I have, it, it you'll breeze through this. Do I have any healing? I don't remember if Chris has heals. Whatever. I, I, I usually don't heal, but it doesn't really matter. I can't remember when. It, so there's a, a sweeper right here. There's also a sweeper over here, but you can kill it without them even looking at you if you get there quick enough. I don't remember where exactly what room. I think it's like room 13 or so if you're counting i don't really count i just kind of memorize what room is what there we go okay i'm, I'm really hurting i'm not too worried if i die i die it doesn't really matter on this run okay not this room we still got a couple more hallways there's a guy right here. If you didn't know, you'll hear him thump and hit the floor. So this room should be like the infirmary. No, nope, this is the, the hallway of death. After the hallway of death, we get to the infirmary. Okay, so after the hallway of death, unless I'm just completely wrong. Now, okay, so here's the infirmary. So it should be the room immediately following this one. Okay, there's a dude dead. I can see the blood pool. Yes, so this room right here will kill the hunter, will kill the sweeper. And then, nope, I was wrong again. I'm just going to quit talking. It's this room. Maybe. I'm not exactly sure at this point. It is. It's this room right there. Okay, you, you already seen the mirror. I killed that hunter. That's the mirror we have to look at, but we need to kill the sweeper first. Best way to kill the sweeper is go in this corner and then just boom. Just auto, auto aim with your trigger and get the kill shot then come back stare at this mirror and we'll get the next trophy oh my gosh he is a bit of a metro isn't he mirror mirror look in the broken mirror in the locker room with quit with chris must be in third person view so there you go he may be a bit of a metro he's definitely obsessed with his hair i for one can connect with that but either way good enough for our next trophy okay i'm just gonna go ahead and end it or x fill out because this is actually like really easy at this point i've killed all the hard stuff and I'll probably just let her kill me. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess I could blow myself up, too. So as far as miscellaneous battle games, 
I've still got one with Wesker and one with Steve. You know what? We'll do it just for shits and giggles. We'll do it just for giggles and grins. Chuckles and smirks. Poops and chuckles. If I die, I die. Like I said, I don't care. I guess I could have just linear launched her. I could use the practice. for the the no kill run I, I guess this is a really good way to practice with a linear launcher yeah that's what i'm talking about kick that bass chris kick that bass okay i still got an a rank actually i'm just kidding i had like nine minutes i got an a rank earlier Okay, so for Steve's, we have to interact with a soda machine outside the locker room, which is actually a ways in. And because the Smiggies take a really long time to kill stuff, it's probably more proficient to do this if you wait till we have that A rank like we previously discussed. Um, and then just go ahead and uh, use the linear launcher. Because you could pretty much one hit like everything with it. And it will vastly increase the amount of time it takes. Okay. Did I really miss? Well, I didn't that time. I think it's like room 10 or 11. It's like halfway through when you get the opportunity to interact with the Coke machine. Okay, you know what, dude? Hold my plasma or whatever the hell it is that I'm hitting you with. Electricity. I don't really know at this point. Okay, there we go. Hold my electric balls, okay? I can fire it through railings, so I don't really know what it is. It's got to be like electricity or something. It's not solid. 
it makes a really nice like sound when it's flying so that 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 could be a giveaway of what it is okay do i have any healing items with him i do we might as well burn it now because i don't care if i live or die towards the end of this He just took that L and he held these nuggies. Let's go, baby. Okay. I don't want to blow myself up. And that should be the last. If I hit him, that should have been the last guy. Yep. This is probably the fact that I, I will definitely do a personal best with him on this using the linear launcher. Okay, so he does come down the stairs. There's also a dude on the floor right there. Okay, I got him. You can see him, his, his ass on fire. If you can see his boot cheeks on fire, you know you got him. Okay. Make our way through the hallway of death. Whoop. Step over some roasted zomber. Should be shortly after this room. Not immediately, but shortly. Ooh. So it is that coke machine right there so just walk up interact with this coke machine and we should get the trophy just kick it there we go we don't sell one-ups use the soda machine outside the locker room with steve must be in third person view there you have it another trophy down okay let's go ahead and finish this out and then we'll do the wesker do the run with Wesker and we'll be Gucci boom How you doing? How you doing? I love that instant kill. That instant kill is just my favorite. Hey, hold these, right? There you go, my buckaroo, my bob. And you too.
There it is. I got you, fam. Too damn easy. Too damn big. The harder they are, the bigger they fall, they say. Yes, I realized I said that wrong. That was way faster. So with Wesker's miscellaneous battle mode uh, trophy in particular, it will be way faster if you go ahead and get a rank across the board with him because then it'll unlock the linear launcher for his campaign. You can also get it while you're doing his A rank run because you get so much time. I literally walked past it in my A rank run. I could have got the trophy if I wanted to. I just wanted to do it separately for the video. Um, but you can just go ahead and have the linear launcher and you'll do it in easily half the time. Because you can, it, with the linear launcher, you can make it all the way through the battle mode in approximately seven, eight minutes without trying. Otherwise, it'll take you about eight minutes just to get to the point because it's approximately halfway through the run for his particular trophy. So you obviously you can get it on one run or you can break it up like I did. Obviously, it's with the massive amount of time you get to complete Wesker's run. I think it's like 30 minutes. I completed it in like 17, 18 minutes. There is no rush. You can take the 30 seconds to get the trophy. But it's just an excuse for me to run around with the linear launcher, which is way more fun. And I'm actually kind of bummed that they don't have the linear launcher in more Resident Evil games, because this is really fun. Like, yeah, I get it. Having a rocket launcher is awesome, but mix it up, dude. Let me have the rail gun in Resident Evil 3. Let me have the linear launcher in a couple other ones, you know? Kind of like in Resident Evil 5, you can have a minigun if you're Chris, or you can have a bow if you're Sheva, which is just so much more fun. You can also get the infinite rocket launcher. On top of that, there's also a green herb I never knew about right there. That actually makes it super, super convenient. I'd have had a way easier time with Wesker's battle mode if I would have taken the time to learn where all the herbs were. But me just jumping into it all kind of half-assed like, I wasn't as proficient as I could have been. Still proficient enough to get it done in 17 minutes. And that's just a testament to the knife skills. But I, I, I could have made it easier on myself and had more heals. Okay, hold my nuggets. Hit this dude on the floor. Hey, I got him. Yep, I did. It let me move on. One hallway of death later. And we're good. Okay. 
Okay, there's one more guy over here. And then once you get in this infirmary room right here, you're going to know it because of the dividers and whatnot. You're going to go into this left room and then you're going to stare at this really dis this really disfigured dude right here. You're just going to hit X next to it and the trophy will be yours. Hey! hi ho silver! Hi, boy! That was cringy as hell. But anyway, look at the one-eyed statue in the infirmary with Wesker. Must be in third-person view. And with that, the trophy is yours. On to the next one. That was stupid cringy. I just, I, I went with it. Sometimes you gotta hit, you got a little bit, you need a little bit of cringe in your life. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you need that just chef's kiss of cringe. Okay, he did. He did, did. Got him. Oh, yeah. Get out of my ozone. Chiggity check yourself before you riggity wreck yourself, homie. See, look, I knew that dude was going to come sweeping around the corner. He was going to do a little bit of peekaboo. I was going to do a little bit of peek a -hoo. As I blew his nuggies into the next zip code. Don't know if that killed him or not, but that killed him. I kind of have a penchant for like just aiming at the, you know, the boys. I like to hit the enemies in the giblets. I feel like that takes away more of their pride than if I've got a headshot. A lower headshot hurts your pride way more than an upper headshot. As much as I love watching Wexker just smack a bitch, I didn't realize this factored into your time. You're coming with me. This is the only one that has a cutscene, and rightfully so. This deserves a freaking cutscene. Oh, yeah, shot her right all up in her boobage. She's dead, skis. And with that, battle game is done, fam. And that is easily my most favorite freaking side game they've ever put in a Resident Evil game. And that's saying a lot because I really love the battle to the death, bla the blackjack to the death from Resident Evil 7. I stinking love that game mode. And that's mostly because I, I just love cards. I love poker. I love blackjack. But that's easily my favorite freaking one. It's so much better than Leech Hunter or whatever the hell Resident Evil Zeros was. Oh, I hated that one. I hated that one. But let's see how many trophies I got left to get. All right, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break here in a second. Maybe grab another beverage.
But we'll see what we got to get. Um, so all that I have left is get the rocket launcher, which you get for beating the game in under four hours. Receive encouragement from a young lady, which is a very specific miscellaneous trophy. I have to get when I'm Steve. I just gotta. Ha I just have to talk to Claire an additional time. Finish the game in under four hours, which is the only way to get the rocket launcher. Um. Well, it's not the only way to get the rocket launcher. So, getting the rocket launcher requires that you get an A rank at the end of your playthrough for Code Veronica. And there is this really convoluted guide you have to follow to get the A rank because there's no explicit way that shows you what your time is. Like, even here, I had to guess on the time based on what I had read in Reddit forums and PlayStation guides and PlayStation forums to figure out what my maximum time was for each of these A ranks with Battle Game. So, for example, to get an A rank is what is required to get the rocket launcher. A rank gets you the infinite rocket launcher. It's the only way to get the rocket launcher. It's automatically infinite. But... With that being said, that rocket launcher, you can't use in the final the final run to get it. I mean, sure, you could maybe get it without beating the game in under four hours. But statistically speaking, everything I've read on the guides, the way to get an A rank for Code Veronica is beat the game in less than four hours, never save at all, do a no save run, Never use any first aid sprays. You can use herbs, but not first aid sprays. Make sure you give the medicine to Rodrigo and make sure you save Steve quickly. Doing all of that and beating the game in under four hours, statistically speaking, will get you that A rank. It's not guaranteed, but that's what I've read everywhere else. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a no save sub four hour run with a couple other things sprinkled in. I'm also going to try to get the, the trophy for receiving encouragement from a young lady, which is just talking to Claire an additional time, as well as getting all the yellow and red files because I missed a few of those in the game. So, actually, with that being said, I will probably wrap this video up here. I realize this is a short one, but I want to try in one run the sub four hour A rank no save run. I don't even know what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it the Code Veronica Uber run. I want to do, I want to one try the Code Veronica Uber run. And doing that's going to require me to watch a speed run video, look at a couple techniques, take my own notes and cross reference an all collectibles video so that I'm able to get the yellow and red files and make my own notes that I can follow for the video. And that's what I'm going to spend the rest of the night doing so that tomorrow we can hopefully get this platinum trophy. So with that being said, if you like this video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below if you think Code Veronica is actually going to be the next Resident Evil remake. I read an art Off tangent. Sorry, I was cutting my outro. This can't wait. I read an article today that some video game tester leaked via Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it, that they played the demo for a quality control review of the next Resident Evil remake, and they said it was Code Veronica. So as much as everybody was saying, we need a Code Veronica remake, it might actually be happening. Let me know if you like that down in the comments below. But either way, make sure you hit that like button, and remember to smash that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you never miss a new video. And with all that being said, I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next video.